Hi everyone, welcome back to another match day vlog. It is round three of the Polish leagues. On Monday we'll go to Krakow, but today we're staying here in Katowice. And today we are going to GKS Katowice against Rakow Częstochowa. I'm wearing the new away shirt of Gornik uh, because this week was the 15th anniversary of the friendship between GKS and Gornik. But I'm getting some dirty looks because people probably think it looks rough on first attempt. Last weekend GKS won uh, away in Mielec, uh, very impressively, 0-1. Hopefully the defense will be just as good today because in the first game against Radom, Defense was the main problem and it will be needed because Rakov is a very good opponent. Last week they lost 0-1 to Krakowia at home. However, they did dominate most of the game. So I'm expecting it will be the same today. It's going to be a sold out stadium and also a sold out away sector. So there's going to be a good atmosphere. So let's hope it will be the same on the field. Let's get inside. There's a big police presence around the stadium. I'm guessing for the Rakov fans. So uh, hopefully the police will not ruin the atmosphere again by blocking people. But I've seen it already several times happen for the visiting fans. Uh, the police is a bit strict. post-match Andor. I forgot the review of the sausage uh, because there were people at the table. Normally the quality is very good. Today the sausages were very soft. The sausage fell apart when he took it off the grill and there was not much flavor to it. Uh, the price was 20 zlotis but unfortunately I have to give it a 7 out of 10. So pretty equal first half. Uh, it's a midfield battle. Both teams cannot really shoot on goal. Uh, but Rakov managed to score on that first shot of goal. Uh, it was a cross from Tudor and then João Carlos was able to run behind his defender and was like 
free to head it into the goal. But Gekes looks good. Uh, the midfield looks very good. Uh, Garland is uh, very active. And also Kowalczyk looks very good. So there's opportunities there. In terms of atmosphere, uh, Blasrook is very active. It's very good atmosphere there. Uh, it looks like Rakov didn't have any problems with the police. So they're also able to create a good atmosphere from their side. There was a little situation on sector five regarding the Polish anthem. But other than that, the atmosphere is very good. It's a small win. In my opinion, KKS deserved at least a point. KKS dominated the second half. Uh, just like I guess Radom, it was just basically long balls into the box with the big guys up front. Other than a one-on-one -on, -one on goal, Rakov didn't really create a match. If I was Papshun, I would not be happy with the match they played, but he'll probably gloat. But at least the atmosphere in the stadium was very good. All the sectors were joining in. The next home game for KKS is against Moto Lublin. Uh, that will be a six-pointer, so it's a very important game. And in between, they have an away game against Piast, which unfortunately I have to miss because on the same day is Wiesra Krakow against Ruch, and I'll be in Krakow then. The next game for Krakow is against Lech, so we'll see how good this team is. Anyways, that was it for me. Uh, I'll be back on Monday, going to Krakowia against Wiesraf. Should be a spicy match, so stay tuned for that one. Thanks for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. You know what to do, and we'll see each other on Monday. Bye-bye.